Okay, back again. Yeah, I had to dump my camera chip. Um, this is where we left off here, is just the sticky stuff had been ironed onto the uh, material, the back of the material. And by sticky stuff, I mean the um, pellon, the lightweight pellon. And that's what I would recommend getting. I just ask um, the lady at the material shop, not Joann's, not any fancy fabric store. It was just Helen's Hen House over in the town next uh, next town over. And um, I asked her if she had any, um, like, wonder under. I said, Pellon. That's by Pellon. I said, do you have any by the yard? And that's how I bought it. I bought it by the yard. Okay, and what we got here is, and it doesn't matter if that has a wrinkle in it, I don't, oh lord, I hope not. <laughs> this is just, um, tissue paper that I got at Christmas, you know, to wrap gifts in. Um, now, for some reason, this has a shiny side to it. It's not, I've never, I never saw tissue paper like this before. But what I did was I I put shiny side up and I put the um, the dull side down whenever I ironed it on the last time and I did use this very same stuff on that that brown book I showed you before. I know this is going to sound silly, but I'm going to iron this. I'm going to see if I can't burn it up here just really quick <laughs> like that. It's like yeah, it's like really wrinkled. Okay, there. I can change my mind. Oops, I ironed it to that sticky stuff that was already there. I need to wash my towel. Get that stuff off of there. Okay, so, anyway. And I promise you we're actually going to get to the covering the book part. But if you're going to cover with fabric, this is what you do. And it is not an original idea. I am not taking credit for this at all. I actually watched Mary, who is the Mary... The Mary Atelier. Okay, I know. Uh, all, all together, capital T H E, capital M E R R Y, capital A T L I E R. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Sorry if I butchered it, but uh, she she did this. She did this. Okay, so once that's on there, and you make sure that the tissue paper is covering all of your sticky stuff. And this is a very important step, and I will tell you why. This keeps whatever glue you use from seeping through the pores in the fabric. Now, you would think that, yeah, maybe with the um, Wonder Under, or whatever you use, maybe that would, would keep it from seeping through. I don't know. I never tried it. I'm going with what people have done before me. That's how we learn, right? And the ironed tissue paper on the back. And that is what I'm about to do. And like I said, hopefully this works. Or I have just wasted a bunch of my time. Okay. Uh, oh, heck. I better start over here since it, my iron keeps grabbing it. Iron's the same heat as it was whenever I was putting the one under on the fabric. The only difference here is you're not peeling this off this is going to stay on there so you want to make sure that it's glued really well not that whenever you use glue it to the book cover it's not going to be glued you know but I'm assuming that it's harder for the glue to get through the tissue paper and that's why we put it on there right okay so just get it nice and oops what's that I might have torn that I think I scratched my iron, one of those non-stick irons. I think I scratched it. Make sure it's good and on there. Now, it may not stick to the edges of some of it because it may, the wonder under may not be all the way to the edge. So, don't worry about that. I think that's all I'm going to do right there. And I'm going to turn my iron off. And I'll show you. But yeah, this is, see how it's not all the way, it doesn't always, 
always stick right to the edge just because the wonder under didn't go all the way to the edge remember that's why i said we're going to trim it so there you go now this fabric has been conditioned enough to put on a book cover that's how you condition the fabric to put it on a book cover I go through and you and it's not did that was that hard no because I did it in real time the only thing I didn't do in real time was uh, let my book uh, the paint on the book dry which that isn't even if you're using like maybe I wouldn't recommend it but a heavy brocade fabric you wouldn't even have to uh, paint your book but it'd be kind of hard to make the to fold the or the corners and I fold my corners exactly the way I fold corners whenever I'm uh, covering um, when I'm making a book cover you know with um, I can't think of it what am I thinking of help me out but whenever I'm covering it with paper I use you know how you fold the corners you, you know you cut the angle on the corner leave an eighth of an inch on the corner and and then fold it all over you do it the same way I don't I don't see any other way to do it um, if you want a nice corner so, then you trim off this stuff like I said I'm doing this like I said except for the set, the drying time on the paint on the book cover um, uh, and putting the second coat on and letting that dry I'm doing this all in real time oh and uh, baking my book <laughs> Remember baking my book to get the glue? But that really didn't take that much time. Heat up your oven to about that particular book. It was heat, I heated up my oven to 2, 220, I think it was, 215, 220. And then I put the book in there and I left it in there for 12 minutes. So that's not really a lot of time in the larger scheme of things. Hopefully, I've uh, get the get those threads off there. Hopefully, I've, I'm helping. I do have to glue the book or the cover to the book, and that'll be you know that's the biggest part, isn't it? Gluing the cover to the book, and that's going to take yes pace. And boy, is that a mess! I'm telling you, um, it sticks on there, but it takes yes pace a while to cure. Um, so. That'll be one of those, I can't wait around for that because, you know, it's like paint drying. Actually, paint dries faster than, than Yes Paste. And if anybody else is uh, uses Yes Paste and, the, and, and they disagree with me, feel free to comment. If your Yes Paste dries faster in your part of the world than it does in mine, <laughs> it's kind of like uh, baking a cake in West Virginia and baking a cake in Colorado. It takes a different temperature and takes a different time, doesn't it? All right. There we go on that part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my towel in the washer because I'm, I'm hoping that that sticky stuff will come off. Not at this very moment am I putting that towel in the washer. Okay. Bring back my non-stick mat and turn this over. And I'm still not sure what the heck went on right there. Unless I got a piece of the towel on there. Oh well. Them's the brakes, right? I didn't bring my yes paste out. Let's see. This, 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 like that. I think that's how I was doing it. I wanted to make sure that I had a full rooster. Oh, that's going to look good. I like that. Yeah. Full rooster and a full hen on there. And I thought this uh, material was really cute because it had the feathers. So, and let's see what's on the back. I'm getting a full rooster and part of a hen. That's going to look pretty good, I think. Okay. I forgot to get my yes paste. Talk amongst yourselves. I'll be right back. Um, yes paste. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's real prepared. Really prepared. Oh, something fell. Oh, well. Um, never mind the woman behind the curtain, right? Okay. Let me see. Ah. Uh, you know what I got? 16 minutes. That's 18 minutes or something like that. <sighs> yes, paste. Okay. <laughs> I know this is going to sound funny, but 
I put it on my book cover first. I don't put it on the material. I don't know if it, and I use this thing. Um, probably should use the small, the small one. And I'm hoping that's dry enough. And this, and like I said, this is going to be in real time. So, and this probably takes the longest of any of it. And if you can, keep the yes paste off of your nonstick mat. Now, not for any other reason except for when you put your material down and flip your book over. Um, yeah. A lot of people say, you know, use the credit card. I tried the credit card. I had yes paste all over my hands. I like I don't even, I'm one of these people that doesn't even like to have lotion on the palms of my hands. I went for my first pedicure uh, in eight years. And you know how they put that lotion on your feet? That's almost like, I, I was so glad I had on, I, I didn't wear sandals that day because it was rainy. And I was really glad because... I didn't want the, my feet sliding around in my sandals. I don't know. I, I guess I'm just weird. But she said put lotion, you know, put lotion on the bottoms of your feet and all that. And I say, ugh. I literally, after I put my body lotion on, um, I literally have to go either wash my hands, I know, defeating the purpose of putting lotion on your hand, or at least get uh, a wet washcloth and keep it and then when I'm done putting my lo body lotion on I wipe my palms and this isn't going to dry really fast so you don't have to worry about uh, it drying really fast. As a matter of fact it kind of almost melts and you can kind of get more off of you know just by see it almost thins out yeah, I think I used the small end this last time. Okay. And I, you get it in the folds right there because where the book creases right there, the, the cover. Get it good in there because you're going to want it. I mean, I like mine to look like a book. All right? So. Yep. Just keep smearing it and smearing it. So this is it's so thick. And I think I probably use way too much. But I can't get it smeared out. Because a lot of people say that yes paste lasts forever. I think I've only done four or five books, maybe. But that's still a lot. And yes paste does not cost that much not in my opinion um, keep. and you're going to get sticky fingers I, I'm going to tell you this right now I haven't got them yet but when you get to the end of, of putting this stuff on you're going to get sticky fingers it's like anything else you're going to get sticky fingers and make sure you get it all the way to the edge and do it in a light to where you can see the contrast to make sure that uh, you've gotten all the surfaces because you do not want it to have that one spot that doesn't have it. I mean, this is just experience talking. <laughs> just my experience. I make sure it's completely covered. Completely. I got yes paste on my mat. I'll try not to make sure make sure I try not to get my material up there yeah. yeah this is where you're gonna get a sticky finger soon right here because you're gonna have to hold it down somewhere like this oops like right. I said I'm doing it in real time if you ever watched you know I want to have the choice of fast forwarding I don't want someone to fast forward for me and especially if they're talking it's like like stop it or if they played music in the background and then you're the music's fast forwarded 
if you want to skip ahead and don't want to watch me do this part, that should be your option. I should not make that decision for you. Because you may want to watch me do every last bit. Like I said, it's it's kind of sticky. It is very sticky. Okay, that's all the glue I'm going to put on that for now. And I'm going to put the lid back on this so I can lay my spatula across the top. All right. Now, let's see if I'm upside down or right side up. I forgot now. Uh, okay, oops. All right. Now, right now, I can't see, like, people. I actually think it is upside down. Alright, there we go. Uh, I need to get some of this glue off of my hands because I don't want the material dragging and sticking on my fingers. Okay. A very, very little bit on my fingers. And... Pick this up. Lay this down. And turn it over like this. I'm trying to get where I wanted my chicken to end up and my rooster. And try to make sure that it's even. It looks like it's crooked, but I don't think it is. I'm going to do that. There. Like I said, I got, now I got sticky on my fingers again. I'm going to rinse it off. I'm going to flip that over. Remember literally how I did this before. How I laid the book down. But, so let me see here. All I am interested in is if my rooster got where I wanted it. The placement and my hen. Okay, yeah, alright. And push that down because we're not really done with this part yet. Because what I want to do is I want to make sure this glue right there to the edge. Okay. Now, let me look at my time here. Ten minutes. I don't know if I can do it in ten minutes. Um, this is where you trim off like you would if you were covering... Uh, you know, covering a book with paper. So, this is where you can trim it off. And this is where you probably should try not to have a jagged edge. Now remember, this is how I do it. This isn't necessarily how you can do it. If you, once you watch the process, then you can choose how you want to do it. I know, I just, I, I just said I don't want to cut on my non-stick mat, and here I am doing it, but I, at this point in the game, I'm going to have to. And actually, I cut a little too much off of there. I wanted a little bit more, but... Like I said, you could have had a little bit less material. I could have used a little bit less material. But my problem has been, recently, in doing these books, is I have too much bulk in the corners. So that's why I'm trying to trim just a little bit more off than I normally would. Okay, I'm probably going to trim a little bit more off that too. Mm -hmm. Let's see, once you get that... Uh, tissue paper on there. It cuts a lot easier. I get to get a little bit of thickness, a little bit of body to it, to the material. Yeah, I think I'm going to cut it. Oh my, that's a little bit crooked anyway. So, I'm going to do that. Ah. 
but my scissors are really dull. Alright, okay. Alright. Huh. Let's turn it back over. And push into those creases like a regular book. I see you can tell that maybe, maybe that blue would have shown through had I left the book blue, but that's why I painted it white. And if you're going to use, if you have a white book and you're going to use a darker fabric, maybe you want to paint it black or brown. Okay. But that's how that's turning out. And you go ahead and you do it like you would that's not quite close enough but you go ahead and angle the corners so that's not quite close enough but sometimes people do that and then bring it down which is probably what I'm going to do because last time on my last book I cut it just a little too a little too close and I actually had to ink the corners of the book so it would blend in and yes folks that was that, that one that I showed you trim those corners. Like I said, it, this part is just kind of like doing a regular book cover out of what I cannot think of what I'm, that board that you make the books out of book covers. And usually during the drying process, 